Have you ever wondered about the destructive power of bombs and how they differ in their mechanisms? Well, let's delve into that. We're focusing on two types today, atomic and phosphorus bombs. These are not just bombs, they are history makers, game changers. The atomic bomb, created during the height of World War II, relies on a process called nuclear fission. This is where the nucleus of an atom splits into two smaller nuclei, releasing an enormous amount of energy. The first ones were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, causing unimaginable devastation. On the other hand, we have the phosphorus bomb, which uses white phosphorus. This was first used extensively in World War I and has been controversial ever since. Unlike the atomic bomb, the phosphorus bomb causes damage through its highly reactive and combustible nature. So while both are types of bombs, their methods of operation and the consequences of their use are vastly different. Dive deeper into the mechanics of atomic bombs. These weapons of mass destruction operate on the principle of nuclear fission. This is a process where the nucleus of an atom is split into two smaller fragments, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the form of shock waves and heat. This destructive force is immediate, but the fallout is far from over after the initial blast. The long-term effects of an atomic bomb involve residual radiation, which can linger for years, causing harm to the environment and living organisms. This radiation can lead to numerous health issues, including cancer and genetic defects that can span generations. Historically, the devastating impact of atomic bombs has been witnessed in Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. These cities serve as stark reminders of the destructive capability of these weapons, leaving a lasting impact that can be seen and felt even to this day. The atomic bomb, a tool of immense destruction, leaves a lasting impact on the environment and people long after the initial blast. Now, let's turn our attention to phosphorus bombs. Unlike their nuclear counterparts, phosphorus bombs operate on a fundamentally different principle. They employ a substance known as white phosphorus, a material that ignites spontaneously upon exposure to air. This results in a fierce and relentless burn, a fiery inferno that engulfs everything in its path but the devastation doesn't stop there. The burns it inflicts on human skin are excruciating and often lethal, making it a feared weapon on the battlefield. Yet phosphorus bombs have another, less known application. They are frequently used to create smoke screens in military conflicts, obscuring sight and disorienting the enemy. This dual-natured use of phosphorus bombs, as both a tool of destruction and a defensive measure, speaks to their versatility on the battlefield. Phosphorus bombs, while not as globally destructive as atomic bombs, can cause horrific harm and suffering to those caught in their fiery blast. Now that we understand how both bombs work, let's compare them side by side. On the one hand, atomic bombs bring about an unparalleled level of destruction. Their immediate impact wipes out everything in a certain radius, but the long-term effects are just as devastating. Radiation poisoning can linger for generations, causing health problems and environmental damage for years to come. On the other hand, phosphorus bombs, while not as instantly destructive, create a fiery inferno that is difficult to extinguish. The chemical reaction continues until all the phosphorus has burnt out, causing severe burns and damage to infrastructure. Unlike atomic bombs, they don't leave behind radiation, but the physical and psychological trauma they inflict is immense. In terms of warfare, atomic bombs are a last resort weapon, their use heavily regulated by international law. Phosphorus bombs, while also regulated, are more commonly used, particularly in sieges and urban warfare. Whether atomic or phosphorus, the destructive power of these bombs is a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the importance of working towards peace.